welcome back to Junk Jody. The past few weeks we have been visiting the history of Basingstoke. We've made a Jane Austen sock puppet, a canal boat, and today it's about Thornycroft. This project is for the Virtual Basingstoke Festival 2021, and it's in partnership with Basingstoke and Dean Borough Council and Love Basingstoke Initiative. And we are going to be making a Thornycroft steam wagon! Thornycroft made their first steam vehicle in London in Chiswick in 1895. The company was called the Thornycroft Steam Wagon Company Limited. They produced steam lorries and vans which were so popular. They set up a new factory in Basingstoke in 1898. The following year, Thornycroft steam wagons were supplied to the army for the first time. And here we have the mighty Antar. The mighty Antar was built by Thornycroft in the late 1940s. It was a 6x4 heavy duty tractor unit. I'm going to check it out inside. Also, for some decades, the mighty Antar was a tank transporter for the British Army and it was also used by other nations. London's first powered bus was a Thornycroft steam double-decker. Thornycroft created lots of job opportunities for the people of Basingstoke. Examples of Thornycroft vehicles can be seen here at Milestone's Basingstoke Living History Museum. You can also often see Thornycroft vehicles on display at the Basingstoke Festival of Transport. On that note, for this exercise you are going to need Now if you don't have all of those materials, don't worry, just use what you have because this exercise is all about having fun and learning. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, there's so much art and beauty in things that are not perfect. Let's get started. For this exercise, we will be using scissors a lot. So make sure to be careful and ask your parents and guardians to help you. First, I am going to carefully take apart my two cereal boxes. Now taking some glue, I'm going to put them back together inside out. You can also use sellotape for this. Choosing one of my cereal boxes to start with, I am going to draw a rectangle 9cm tall at the bottom. Now I am going to cut this rectangle out. I find it easier to poke a pencil through the middle of the rectangle to allow my scissors to cut it out neatly. I am going to add two pencil markings either side of my cereal box and then I will cut them out. Now taking my other cereal box, I am going to draw another rectangle 9cm tall. This time I am going to carry on drawing my markings all around my cereal box 
and then I am going to carefully cut around these markings. Now taking some glue, I'm going to stick my two cereal boxes together. And there is the base of my steam wagon. Taking my leftover cereal box card, I am going to cut this panel off. And then I'm going to stick it onto the roof of my steam wagon structure. It needs to hang over the edge like this. Now it's time to start painting! Taking some red paint, I am going to start painting the front part of my steam wagon. Now I'm going to mix some yellow and white paint together to make a lemon colour, which I will paint all over the rest of my steam wagon. I love how paint just brings it to life. I will now leave this to dry. Now it's time to draw four circles roughly 8.5 centimeters in height and width. These circles will become wheels for my steam wagon. Taking a pencil, I am going to make some markings. I will draw a circle in the middle and lines around the middle circle. You should have eight lines like this. Now taking a red pen, I am going to draw over my pencil markings. I will then thicken the lines up. I am also going to colour the outer edge. Now taking a black pen, I am going to draw some final details to make this wheel stand out. My first wheel is complete. Now I want to do the same design on my other three wheels. Now taking some white card, I am going to draw two rectangles roughly 3cm tall and 13cm wide. I will cut them out and write Thornycroft in one and Steam Wagon in the other. Taking some more white card, I am going to draw a circle roughly 4cm in width and height. This will be for my steering wheel. I'll add some details with a black pen. Now taking a loo roll and some scissors, I am going to cut a slit through the loo roll like this. Then roll it into itself to make it thinner. Glue it together. And then I am going to paint it black. This will be my steam wagon steam pipe. Now you should have four handmade wheels. A sign saying Thornycroft and a sign saying steam wagon a steering wheel and a steam pipe. Now it's time to stick everything onto the base of my steam wagon. I'll glue Thornycroft on first, then the steam wagon. Now taking some gold paint, I am going to add some gold details.
Once the gold details are done, I'm going to add a bit of glue to my steering wheel. Pinch it in slightly at the end and then stick it onto my steam wagon. I will then stick the wheels on Now taking some sellotape, I will stick my steam pipe on. And voila! My steam wagon is complete. And there we have it everyone! Our very own Thornycroft steam wagon! I hope you had fun making this. Please do share a photo of your steam wagon to hashtag stoke your creativity and hashtag junk Jody arts and crafts. And stay tuned for next week as we are going to be visiting the history of Highclere Castle. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye now!